thanks for joining me. Um, can you state your name and your position? Uh, my name is Steven Air Weldon Weldon. Um, five foot eight, two ten. I play left field, right field, uh, infield. You know, just whatever they need me out there on the field. What do you think you bring to the table as a multi-sport athlete? We've seen you play soccer. We've seen you hit game-winning shots in basketball. We need to see more. What What do you think you bring to the table? You know, when it comes to what I bring to the table, um, I have excelled in situations where people have undervalued me, uh, mainly basketball. I hit game-winning shots, uh, soccer. I play goalie, but I've done a lot to improve my game as a goalie. So that's a positive thing. And I'm just looking to bring intensity, and I want to be the best guy out there. I am the quintessential athlete. Uh, that I know. So it, it's just, I bring intensity and good teammate, all that good stuff to this team. What do you think your biggest mental asset is going into understanding that you're 34 years old, you're out of shape, you eat McDonald's constantly? Like, what is, what keeps you going despite all those things? What kind of, que what kind of question is that? Like, and maybe 34 and overweight. But listen here. I can play with the best of them. I've been proving it since I was 14 and slow. And no, I can't. What is what is that question even be? What? Okay, you don't need it. Okay, you don't need to be like that. All right, man. This is just a normal interview. We're just two dudes talking here at your pool. Uh, I just want to get a feel for how you're addressing this upcoming season despite your challenges you know i'm going into the season looking to kick ass and take names and i don't like the way you're interviewing me what the hell is up with this who who, who scheduled this interview what the, what are you doing what what is this you know what that's it this interview is over i've had it thank you you know these people need to recognize is i come from a very slight background you know as an only child i got a lot of what i wanted um, I have a beautiful wife, I have two beautiful kids, um, but it's a struggle out here on the mean streets of West Lynn. Chael Sonnen, he said it so many years ago, a man, he built this town, and he knows it's, it's hard out here, and I just want to bring that intensity to the team that I'll be playing for in, uh, in this softball, in this softball exploit. I'm ready, I'm excited, and, uh. Let's, let's get it done. Let's get this done. Let's go clack on server cats. So one of the things that I've 
been able to do since I've changed my profession is I've been able to do a lot more things that people do at night. And one of those things is playing on a recreational sports team um, for fun. I've always wanted to do that. I've mainly been uh, stuck working nights with inconsistent schedules. But here we finally have the time period where I'm able to go and do these things and enjoy it. I may be old, maybe washed up, but I'm here and I'm ready to play. Please like and subscribe because we're going to go on a nine week journey with the Clackamas River Cats slow pitch softball team. It's going to be an interesting one because sadly the River Cats haven't won much in the last few years in the many teams. And I was asked to join the team uh, last year and I played a couple games and then I got hooked and I'm really ready to play and I'm really excited to play. Team Teammates are really nice. I'm really looking forward to this experience and I'm glad to bring you along because I want to document it. I'm going to have my stats. I'm going to have post-game reactions. I'm going to have an overview of the season. I'm going to have overviews of the teams. Uh, just follow all season long this Clackamas River Cats journey.